I don't take nothing from her no more. You hear me? Federal task force opened up shop in my precinct. Fez is gonna dig deep. They already watching. They coming for us. Rock out the game. It's just us, man. So that's the official season trailer for season 3 of Raising Kanan. And it does seem like we are in for one epic season. We've got Rock back in the game and I think we all knew she was never gonna last too long out these streets, which has been pretty much her entire life. As Kanan said in episode 1, she doesn't just need the game, she is the game. Kanan's also done taking handouts from Rock and he's also on his own hustle with our first look at him and Ishmael Snaps Henry, who is said to be one of Kanan's mentors in the streets. The feds seem like they're going to be turning up the heat on the players in Queens, and it seems like they're going to be keeping a very close eye on Raquel and a few others, so I do wonder whether one or two could end up in an orange jumpsuit come the end of season 3. Raising Kanan is the most real staying true to the culture of the 90s era, and I think they're going to take a different approach when it comes to characters ending up dead or in jail. There's also Unique and Rock's relationship, which is complicated by Ronnie acting wild in the streets, so could we see the two former enemies now love interest come together and bring him down? So in this video, we're going to be running through all the scenes with what we can expect from Raising Kanan Season 3. Now first things first, we've got Rock telling Stefano that she's going to tell him the same thing she's told her own people. She's out the game, but he disagrees, and so will Unique in Episode 2. I stand. Do you believe her? I think the question is whether she believes herself. Unique knows who Rock is and so does Stefano, and look, who is Rock kidding? She can say she's out the game all she wants, but there will always be something or someone that pulls her back in, just like there was for Ghost. So just to add some more context to this scene, this is something we're going to see play out in episode 2. We're going to see Rock and Unique interrupted by some masked men and brought to Stefano who's going to tell her that he's got a job for her. Now what that job is, is a bit of a guessing game, but if I were to look at this logically, the only person Stefano could be asking Rock to take care of is Sal Baselli. He created one hell of a shitstorm at the end of season 2 by causing mayhem in the streets, and because of his actions, law enforcement are everywhere. Southside is in the crosshairs. The FBI is getting involved. You hear me? Detective Howard warned the FBI are in their crosshairs in episode 1. And in the season trailer, they give us an idea they're not playing games this season, which I'm going to come to in just a moment. But in regards to Rock not being done, as I said, she's just lying to herself. We're going to see her in the thick of the action at some point doing what she does, shooting away at our problems. Who she's pulling the trigger on, let's just wait and see. But she does have a few enemies and I'm sure she'll rack up some more. As I mentioned before, just because she says she's out the game, it doesn't mean she can stop looking over her shoulder. Law enforcement and enemies will be keeping close tabs on Rock, so it is probably in her best interest that she keeps her guard up at all times. That includes when she is with Unique. Towards the end of episode 1, we saw Unique coming over to Rock's house and where their relationship did a complete 180. They both lowered their guns and we're gonna find Unique in her bed. But we are also going to hear Rock saying she doesn't want any drama around her, which I think we all know won't happen. Wherever Rock is, there's always drama, whether she's with Unique or not. Now this is a relationship that I broke down in this video, and I actually questioned whether both of them are playing games with one another. They were once enemies in the streets, and neither of them will forget that. So both of them might be playing games of keeping your friends close, where your enemy's closer, and look, they're both dangerous as each other, but they also need to be very careful because sometimes love does make you blind, which I don't think has quite got to that stage yet to be fair, but Unique also does need to worry about Panessa and Jerome, but if I were both Rock and Unique, I'd definitely have my guard up. Now another reason I think Rock needs to be very careful around Unique is because we don't know what game he's playing. He's telling Ronnie one thing and he's telling Rock another, and that's another huge point. Now once did he tell Ronnie about how he helped Rock or vice versa, but he will be warning her at some point in season 3. We've got Unique telling Rock that Ronnie is a problem and of course he is. From what we've seen of Ronnie so far, he's quiet, silent but violent, which is a side we're going to see from him at some point. He's very observant, attentive to detail, and he tells us he's very strategic, he's a chess player. He also reminded Neek he put him in that position, and I think we can all assume at some point he'll want that thrown back, which is going to be a huge problem for Unique. So regardless of whether Rock and Unique are playing each other, I do think it's in their best interest to eventually take him out, which I think they will. So Ronnie Mathis is actually on my death predictions from what we've seen in episode 1 amongst a few other points. Now moving away from Rock's troubles with Stefano, Unique and Ronnie, there seems to be no signs of a relationship getting better with Kanan. We've got Rock giving some money to Famous, but Kanan later slapping it out of his hand and laying down the law with a slap or two. He makes it clear, he doesn't take anything from Rock anymore and so it does seem like Kanan is done with his mother. However, I do feel at some point Kanan will need her at some point. We all know he's going to get deeper into the street game. Law enforcement's presence is also heavy this season. 
and he's also going to get involved with a few older heads. So either with Tariq's journey or anybody else starting at a young age, they will come across a few hurdles and need some guidance and help at some stage from their parents. So I do think Rock will be there if Kanan does get himself into some trouble. Now speaking of Kanan getting into trouble, it seems that Duke is keeping one eye on her cousin. Kanan's changing all up. He also kicking it with some old heads. Your mother is good at this work. So am I. She tells Rock that Kanan is changing up and how he's kicking it with some older heads. And this is where we're going to be introduced to Ishmael Snaps Henry. And this is a reminder of his character description. Henry is a living legend on the streets. He's a former bank robber and an OG dealer, but now he acts as a mentor and a financier for up-and-comers like Kanan, along with his partner and wife, the love of his life, Stephanie Pop Henry. Now it seems like Kanan will meet Henry at a club, and we've got Henry telling Kanan that his mother is good at this work, and Kanan's response is, so is he. So it does seem like Henry knows who Rock is, and the odds are that Rock knows who Henry is, is probably high. When she met Cartier in season 2, she said she knew who he was. So let's see what Rock makes of this new partnership when Duke tells her Kanan is running with some old heads. Now another point we have to bear in mind is, what will Kanan learn from Henry? We all know he's going to learn a few tricks of the trade in terms of the streets, but what about some history lessons about who his mother is or who his family is? There are a lot of secrets we're still yet to learn, so let's see what else Kanan learns from Henry. Now elsewhere we've got Duke in some sort of girls group, which you can only assume is her stepping back into music. In the trailer we got a glimpse of her and Lou in a makeshift studio singing and doing what they love. Unfortunately when it comes to Duke's hopes and dreams, there will be a moment in her life that rips this happiness away. Now what that is, we're just all gonna have to wait and see. But one thing the writers are doing, they are taking their time. They're showing us the process, the journey, the trauma that both Duke and Kanan are having to go through. So it's not just gonna be one thing that turns Duke into that vicious and ruthless character we saw in power, it is gonna be a combination of things. Now with law enforcement, there is a federal task force that's opened up in Howard's precinct and that's going to be a big problem for the players in Queens. We've got Howard telling Rock that the feds are going to be digging deep but also how she's on their radar so they're going to have to keep their shit tight and quiet. In episode 1 we had Rock saying they weren't on the same side but I disagree. I personally think she does need Detective Howard because it's not a bad idea to have someone involved with the law. She said it herself in season 1 in conversation with Duke. So Howard will be an important chess piece especially after his dark turn. But whether Rock likes it or not, they are on the same side, especially when it comes to Kanan. Now we've also got the feds turning up at what seems to be Stefano's place of business, and he did warn in episode 1. He thinks his business is bugged. Salbacelli created a hell of a noise at the end of season 2, and it won't take law enforcement long to connect the dots between the Italian families across New York. New York has a rich history with the Italian crime families, so this cat and mouse game between law enforcement and the players in Queens will be one to keep an eye on, and I'm going to ask the same question I asked during 4 season 2. Will law enforcement get a win? So that's a breakdown of the season trailer and it does seem like we're in for one wild ride this season. Whether it's going to be a breezy winter, let's wait and see. But drop all your thoughts and comments down below in the comment section. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.